Christmas Eve, waiting for some extra fat white dude to come busting through the ceiling. When you go spend Christmas Eve with yours truly, the super villain, doing it. Oh, oh, ho. This is in some of y'all church. This is in some of y'all homes. That's right. Now, your pastor is telling you Jesus' birthday is coming on the 25th. Amen. Your pastor is a liar. The Bible ain't never said Jesus was born December 25th. Not only is your pastor a liar, your mama. That's right. You talking about my mama? Your mama. Amen. Your daddy. Children, there is no Santa Claus. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. People die every year from bringing these trees into their house and, and the trees catch on fire. And the scriptures tell you not to do that. You can read Jeremiah the 10th chapter starting from the second verse. It tells you about what the about the vanity of the practices of the other nations, man. How they bring the tree into their home and they deck it with gold and silver. Those are the words that are used. Right? That's why you have that, that Christmas song, quote unquote, deck the halls with boughs of holly. Right? Same thing with the tree. That's what they do. So you're not supposed to do that. Even the mistletoe, the mistletoe branch runs once again represents Nimrod. That's why you kiss under the, the holly branch or the mistletoe branch because Nimrod was also known as the holly king which came into of course holly the, or the mistletoe was uh, sprang into fullness around December 25th you kiss under the mistletoe because that represents the, the reconciliation of, of the sun back into the world okay so that's where all these practices come from don't don't we've been speckled or not even a word and I agree with you. Raven images and stones and, and we, we don't do stuff like that because it's forbidden this book. But listen to what Jeremiah says. And, and even if you don't believe, listen to what this says. Hear ye the word of the Lord speak unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Did you hear what it says? It, it actually tells you don't even learn the way of the heathen, providing that you say you are a follower of this book. Call yourself whatever you want to be. If you follow in this book, the instruction is learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. You hear that? For one, let's see what this vain custom is. For one, cut up a tree out of the forest. Who do who does this? Heathens do this. A work of the hands of the work man with the axe. See, they, they get a tree, they cut it down out of the forest, let's see what else the heathen do. They deck it with silver and with gold and fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. I mean, y'all know what tree this is he's talking about, right? They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither is it in them to do good. That's talking about the actual tree in itself. Does that not sound like a perfect description of the heathen Christmas tree that the prophet of the Most High clearly tells anyone who follows this book right here, don't do that. Do not learn the way of the heathen. It's a warning. That is a literal warning. the woman and I've stated this on my channel in the past most of these holidays are for women and children it's not for the man because there's no real spiritual basis or intellectual basis behind these things which is what really will galvanize most men uh, that's that is why uh, once you do give up on most of these holidays like Christmas etc there, there will be a lot of tension with the female that's why it's always advisable, and I always tell cats this, when you're first coming into the knowledge, you, sh you really shouldn't have a woman, right? Well, you should go and pursue that once you have all your other things in order. 
Right. But I've seen guys come into the knowledge with the woman and it never works because for the most part, the woman has a hard time dealing with the transition from the, the matrix to the real world. That's not, that's, that's not a transition that most of them can handle. And, um, uh, as a man, when you're coming into, um, reality, you're going to become a different person. You're going to transform. And many of the people who knew you before your transformation are, are not going to be comfortable with the changes that, that, that come over you because you're going to, as Kyrie has, disavow yourself of certain holidays. It's going to appear as if you're ostracizing yourself and you're really not. It's just that, you know, you, you're moving in a different direction. And if the people who, that you surrounded yourself with before you started this, this transformation, this journey, if they're not willing to go on it with you, you have to go on it by yourself. Been